and it's snowing. So the first shock of this trip came as soon as I landed in the airport. The cabin crew announced that the temperature is minus 8 degrees Celsius and I was shocked. This kind of announcement was new to me. But I thought I could manage it. But then it's cold. So the first thing I did as soon as I checked into the hotel is get this jacket. Not just this, whenever I tried to remove my hands outside and try to use a phone, my hands started to freeze. So I had to buy even gloves. So the next thing I did after getting this jacket is to get a SIM card. Uh, they don't give you a postpaid as soon as you land here because you don't have an SSN, you don't have a great history. Uh, so you just have to go with some good prepaid options. There are a lot of options for this actually. So they're as good as the postpaid ones. Minus the contract. By the way, that little power converter I showed in my previous video is a lifesaver. See what it's doing. So right now, it's powering my laptop. And the USB port is powering my, US, uh, my GoPro. And then the two USBs here are power, uh, one is powering my mobile phone and my AirPods. So at a time this can power up to five devices. Since I'm gonna stay here for a while and besides I can't eat every day at Red Lobster, Chili's and Buffalo Wild Wings, eventually I'm gonna get bored at some point of time. So I took up cooking to entertain myself and I did a little shopping. Uh, at Patel's Cash and Carry Grocery Stores which is located near Navarre Avenue and, uh, the entire area is filled with Indian stores and eateries uh, by the way I had Hyderabad Biryani uh, for lunch now first let me show you my room and then I will take you through hotel tour This is what I wake up to. Well, the view is not so good, but it's not bad either. A heater to keep the room warm. And then this multi-purpose alarm come clock come speaker. The bed is comfortable. There is a couch, but I use it to keep my bags. We have a TV. Uh, this is the desk. I made a mess of this as soon as I came here. The chairs. Now we have got a kitchen too. A dishwasher. A toaster. Oven. Induction cooktop. So they have also given these cups and glasses. I got all this from home. A pan. Balls and plates. Spatulas and uh, silverware. Closet. Dryer, 
tissues. And the soap looks like a chocolate. In the first look, you might think there is no problem with shark. But when you are bathing, you face this problem. Practically, it looks something like this. You get the point, right? Soap and shampoo has to be very near when you are bathing. Otherwise, it feels like miles away. It's really uncomfortable. I haven't explained why I'm here. Uh, I'm here because of work. As my paperwork is still pending, I can't start working yet. I work for getting completed quickly. I have to be near to office. But someone booked my accommodation very far from my office. So even that is getting delayed. So probably today or tomorrow I'll be moving to uh, nearer to office. So that's when things will uh, pick place. So I hope I was clear about what's going on here. The gym is very small but the equipment is solid. We have an elliptical here and also a treadmill. With a USB and a fan. We have an ATM too and the big ass vending machines. There is a warm water pool. This is called a courtyard apparently. So I don't have much to do till they relocate me near office. So I'm just enjoying my walk around the neighborhood. Uh, let me show you what it consists of. We have a theatre here. And this big parking lot is for the people who come to the theatre and also for the Harman Meadow employees. It's so cold. It's, it's really cold. The neighborhood is filled with lots of restaurants and hotels.
my accommodation is confirmed at a nearby place to office so um, parking and leaving good to go and bye bye hotel room so that's the end of the road in sikakas I don't know if we'll come back to this place or not. And it's snowing. <laughs>